Detective, what did Ashley say about that picture when you confronted her? Well, actually, after shortly after her arrest, uh, we were able to interview her in reference to that. And uh, she did indicate that it was her in that uh, picture. And it was, in fact, methamphetamine that she was smoking. And it was a residence that uh, had been uh, in Lafayette County, uh, the city of Lexington. And, Detective, did she assume then you are going to arrest me, or did she ask for help? What was her sort of attitude about this? Yeah, well, we initially made uh, contact with her at the, at the residence she was staying at, which was a hotel there located in Richmond. Uh, she had indicated that uh, she knew the picture was uh, viral and that she was expecting our arrival. <laughs> uh, she was pretty upset about it. Uh, Obviously, uh, there was quite a bit of tears and stuff that was uh, going on, but she had indicated that uh, she did have a, an addiction and that uh, she would uh, like to seek uh, treatment for it. Okay. And, and how do you, I, I, to me, that's a, that's a win story. That's a good story. It's not a bad story. I mean, this woman has a disease state, and it makes, it's a great example of what happens when somebody is sick with addiction. It doesn't matter what the consequences are. That's the nature of addiction. You had a question? Look, I, I look at this, and I think it's a great candidate for drug court. Right. Because well, that's what I want to ask. That's what okay. I asked the detective. Is there such a thing for her? Could you mandate long-term treatment, or uh, what, what was your approach? Do you guys have drug court? Oh, we lost him. Yeah. Oh, to explain so, what drug so, court is. So, drug court is for nine non-violent drug-related crimes, yep. and the idea being let's rehabilitate because as a, as a society, we're safer to have these people tackle their underlying drug issues as opposed to incarcerate them. They come out and then they relapse right away. Yep. So she could go into drug court and then work through the program. She gets the rehabilitation. She is serving time in the sense that she's on probation the entire time. It creates a safe environment for her it creates a safe environment for her child and when she has graduated from the program they can evaluate where the, whether charges will be dismissed or reduced detective I know we got you back Did, we were describing what drug court is do you have any options like that there for this woman uh, yes we do our county actually does uh, offer that as well as the other jurisdiction Lafayette County is she can you give us any update on how she's doing uh, right now she's uh, obviously incarcerated this time uh, I haven't spoken with her since that night of the arrest, but uh, obviously uh, she appeared that she was probably under influence that night as well, and, uh, given one the of amount of, uh, of, course. of course. paraphernalia and stuff we had there. But, yeah. uh, she was in good spirits when she left. I tried to explain to her typically that, you know, this is not the end of the world and that uh, there was life after this. Well, it could uh, be a flourishing life after this if she gets so